Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the University of Wisconsin La Crosse Department of Music, we welcome you to Annette Recital Hall for the second of the concerts for the La Crosse New Music Festival 2012. And this is Music Now. Please take this time to turn off all electronic devices, especially those that may make disruptive noise or have bright screens that may distract and disturb others. Remember, eating, drinking, talking, and flash photography are prohibited. Thank you. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Music Now. So you're about to hear music that has been written just within the past few years. And by the way, I'm Dr. Dylan Finley, directing this festival. Um, so you're going to be hearing music that has been written very recently. Uh, and we have a lot of the composers with us today, which is very exciting. Uh, and this first piece that you're going to hear has uh, two composers that are joining our group, Good Company, and they're a vocal group. But we're also going to have painting involved. So Selah uh, Castellano and Josh Wolf are going to be uh, the composers in this. And then we have the group Good Company coming up here, as you see in your program. And in this piece, normally chromesthesia, this is called reverse chromesthesia. So normally chromesthesia is when the sound becomes the color. In this piece, the color becomes the sound. So come on up.
It's going to take just a moment for us to uh, clean up this, but another round of applause for them. So, while things are changing, I'll introduce the next piece. So, Mono Dialogos is a piece by Italian composer Fabio Fabri. Um, he was actually planning to come down for this, but with the COVID restrictions, he wasn't able to leave his country and come over here. Um, but he was very excited to be part of this festival. So, Mono Dialogos is this idea of a dialogue, the Dialogos part, then there's the mono part, meaning one. So it's a dialogue of one. And what you're going to have is our performer, Josh Barron, will be playing his trumpet, but there will also be a ghost version of the trumpet that you'll hear through the electronics. So he's going to be playing with the electronic version of the trumpet going back and forth. The first part of the piece, you'll hear that he's going to be by himself, and then when the electronics come in, you'll hear this type of conversation of these trumpet noises and sounds. So we're going to take a moment to um, prepare for this, and we'll be ready shortly. Thanks.
So the next piece that we have is by a composer who is present today, coming to us from Madison. This is a Eric Delgado's piece, and it is called Daydreams. And just for uh, some of you that need to know this, there are movements, so we will not clap between the movements. Uh, we'll wait till the entire piece is done. And the piece is called Daydreams, and it's a really great piece for clarinet and flute by Mackenzie Taylor and. Jacob Georgestad, and I'll let the music speak for itself. You do have program notes, but uh, it's a really great piece. Here you are.
Great job, and uh, we'd also like to uh, give a hand for the composer as well, Eric Delgado. Stand up, show yourself. Really great piece. All right, so the next piece on the program is my own, and it's a very much a pandemic piece. There is a lot of feelings going on in the world when the pandemic hit, and I think that just all the media and all the fake information that was going around everywhere just got me into a place and I found myself stuck on social media all the time. It was just not a good place to be. So uh, this piece is kind of a response to that and me trying to seek to find something that felt real. And you'll see that there's a very stark contrast between the first part of this piece and the second part of this. And looks like we're all ready to go. So um, Josh is gonna come up and play this piece for us. This is low.
Here is the new Band-Aid plastic strip with new super stick. It sticks better than any other band -Aid. Approved? Take a dry egg at room temperature. Touch the egg with any other band -Aid.
Up next, we have four caprices by, well, they call him Fredo, and you can see why in the program. I'm not going to try to pronounce the last name, but uh, he's a Nigerian-American composer. Right now, he's residing, I think, in Illinois. Uh, and this piece, Four Caprices, is a, about a traditional African wedding ceremony. And I forgot to put the movements in the program, but the movements are, the first one is a processional, the second one is called Vows and Rituals, the third one is Bridal Dance, and the last one is Recessional. So we're going to have um, our three performers here. Uh, you've already seen Jacob and Mackenzie. We'll add uh, Kay to this one for uh, this piece and look forward to hearing them play this. Thank you.
before I announce the last piece, I would like to say what's coming up in the next two days. So this is the second concert of this new music festival. We'll have a panel discussion at 4.30, followed by our nighttime concerts, which is very exciting. We have a guest composer, Steve Danu. We're gonna have a piece, a flute concerto, that's gonna be performed by our own Dr. Jonathan Borja. And we have uh, another piece on that concert by our own composer, Dr. David Phipps. And then we're gonna play a classic uh, dance on number two by Marquez. And then tomorrow we have three concerts, one at 2 p.m., one at 4.30 p.m., and those are both with people, uh, living composers from all around the area, uh, from Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, they'll be coming in, and then we'll have our finale concert by Quince at 7.30 tomorrow, and included in Quince is our own voice faculty, Dr. Liz Burse. So we're very excited to have all these things come up, and let me introduce this final piece. So, uh, this morning, uh, I was in touch with the composer of this piece, Wallace Cheatham, and seems like a really wonderful person, and this morning I got an uh, email that he passed away. So this last piece that Hunter Adams is going to play is uh, called Piano Preludes. You have the program, though, so you can read about it, but he just passed away within the past two weeks, and uh, we're doing this in honor of him and his life. <laughs> 